From News 19 and meteorologist Daniel Bonds, we're still watching the tropics pretty closely. This is Hurricane Jose. It has winds of 90 miles per hour with gusts up to 115 miles per hour. The storm is moving towards the north at 9 miles per hour. It is off the southeastern coast there. You can see North Carolina and South Carolina, and this is Jose. It is expected to move towards the north and eventually lose some power and become a tropical storm over the next several days. But there are some tropical storm watches in effect for portions of the northeast from Massachusetts all the way down to Delaware. So that is new as of Sunday afternoon. We did have those watches now in effect for portions of the New England and the mid-Atlantic states. We're still watching what is now Hurricane Maria. It was a tropical storm. Now it's a hurricane. It does have winds of 75 miles per hour with gusts up to 90 miles per hour. and does have a number of watches and warnings associated with this storm. That's in the Lesser Antilles. So another storm may impact those islands down there. As you can see, the path, at least the forecasted path from the National Hurricane Center, indicating it may become a major hurricane at some point over the next couple of days as it moves through the Lesser Antilles and then towards Puerto Rico. So this is a storm we'll be watching pretty closely over the next few days. Now the spaghetti plots are in pretty good consensus. This would be through Saturday, so the next six or seven days or so. And then they kind of fan out a little bit and as the storm turns more towards the north. Obviously, this will be something we'll be watching. And then here we are Monday, early Monday morning. You're talking about September 25th, so a long ways away. But nonetheless, as we watch Maria as it moves more towards the northwest, it is expected to make that turn. So this is a storm we'll be watching as well.